has forced many mom and pop stores that rely on neighborhood customers to stay afloat to shut down. News Nation's Felicia Bolton takes a look at how some small businesses are impacted and how they're moving forward. She joins us tonight from here in Chicago. Felicia. Yeah, from online deals to in-store perks, many small businesses are preparing for the holidays. And it's not just a push to end the year out strong. They say sales from the holidays will determine if they can keep their doors open next year. From gadgets to toys and things that go, it's a puzzle for shop owners to figure out how to operate this holiday season. The shopkeeper for Timeless Toys in Chicago says they are trying everything in their power to keep customers safe during the coronavirus pandemic and end the year on top financially. So we're moving mostly to an online business. At this point, it's about 50-50 for the fourth quarter, and that is something that logistically we're really not set up to do. Um, however, we are getting better at it day, day by day. It's a similar situation for Genevieve Kahn's, the owner of her own clothing boutique. I'm so thankful that we're, it, it makes me emotional. <laughs> um, so thankful that we're in such an awesome community. When Genevieve Boutique shut down in March, she says customers continue to support her small business, but she had to fight to stay open. It was brutal, and it was every day was grueling, hard work. I was delivering to customers. I was doing a ton of curbside pickup, doing everything I could. I actually didn't have a website when this all started. Um, I've since launched and now have a presence online. Data from Harvard University's Opportunity Insights Economic Tracker estimates as of November 9th, 2020, the number of small businesses open decreased by 28.8 percent in the United States compared to January of this year. And the total small business revenue decreased by 31.3 percent across the nation. These staggering figures are why some shoppers say it's critical for them to shop local this year. Small retail establishments can't compete with the larger establishments. These are capital issues, and again, we should support them as much as we can. We're hoping to give them a lifeline so they can stay alive, especially through the winter. Oh, Shop owners say each gift you buy is helping their small business stay alive. Small Business Saturday happens the Saturday after Thanksgiving, so it's coming up in just a few days. A lot of these small businesses have already partnered with American Express to offer shoppers some extra perks. For more information on that, head online to newsnationnow.com. Felicia Bolton, News Nation.